much, uh, how much simmer down, simmer down now. How much training would you have to, uh, it's very difficult going straight into an interview after you've done that, I realise that. Punch your way through it. How much training would you have to put in for a routine and to get as fit as that without sort of falling out? Too much training. That's a game. Yeah. Every day, for how long? The good thing is, Swimming, running, all sorts of things. Right. I think the, the thing what Mark is going to say, the good thing is we keep you fit by doing gigs all the time. You yeah. Yeah, we're we're work. always working, so... So keep you fit and earning fit. money? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of money. But I do need nothing else. You know, we paid these calls today. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the come dancing champion? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. There was no come dancing champion. <laughs> is that right? Well, it's it's a a is this just a, a, a vicious <laughs> rumour? Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> some phone calls uh, came in earlier on, so, uh, so let's rattle through some of these as well. Vicky Whitehead wants to know, which bands from the last decade do you most admire? Uriah Heep. Uh-huh. And uh, um, Jethro Tull. A likely choice for you, but fair enough. <laughs> that's, that's an interesting Winifred's one. Yeah. St. Winifred's Girls Choir, we're into. Yeah. Some of the ones with San Grandad that's in there. Yeah, and yeah. what a lovely, lovely number one that was. Little Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? Uh, yeah, that as well. <laughs> Prince, I think. Prince? Yeah. It's a sensible That's a answer. serious one, yeah. Phil, yeah. yeah. Right, OK. No, the Prince. Catherine, uh, Catherine Hawkyard is in St Albans. She wants to know, how did you, uh, how did you meet each other? Do you, were you mates beforehand? We're not mates now, so, I mean, <laughs> just yeah, all fell before. out. <laughs> what it was, I think, it was, um, it was two bands. It was a merger of two bands. I was working with Alvin in the clubs, doing a bit of a dance, rap act kind of thing. Right. And, um, Gary and Mark were doing a bit of a, a scene in the clubs as well, and we kind of met up through the same management, and we just picked this fella up here. <laughs> we we picked Robbie up. We felt sorry for him. Yeah, we found him. <laughs> where was your first gig? Michael McLean wants to know, where was your first gig? Um, I think it was Fast Forward Funder. Fast Forward Funder, yeah. First major yeah, we did. That was great. That was great. That was great. Right one day, we had yeah. to do it about 20 times in one day. <laughs> really tiring. Because we've we've had look. Where's that thing? Oh, Carmela, could you do me a favour? Could you just pass that the, on the on by just by the desk there, by my stuff, is a little the seal. Could you throw that over for me? Oh. Thank you. Thanks. Oh. Thanks. Oh. Thanks. Oh. Now we always we always reckon on going live that uh, that superstardom begins when you begin to get sent cuddly toys, <laughs> especially on the programme. Um, this one this one's been there. You go. Now I don't know who's going to have it, but you can sort of share it between me. you. <laughs> Stop now, stop. This has come from Natalie Jones, who's in Southampton. She sent you a card as well, so you can open oh. that later on. But, uh, but how, yeah, how are you going to cope with uh, with sort of ensuing uh, pop superstardom? Uh, yeah. have, you, have, you thought of, have you thought about it? No. no we've not thought we're, about we're it not. because we've not been there yet. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're I think we can up. handle it, though. I'm hoping. Mm. Yeah. We're getting a taste of it now. You know, we're having, like, girls running up to us. Walking down the streets and that, but we're handling it. It's all right, Phil. You feel comfortable with it? Eh? Yeah, yeah. So enjoying it. Enjoying it. Enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, already, um, already in, in this sort of new fledgling career, you've uh, you've been a bit controversial by saying that uh, saying that you you considered yourselves to be Manchester's answer to the new kids, and you actually said, I think Gary actually said that, that he felt that the new kids were manufactured. Did I say did that? Did you say that again? I, I definitely did. Yeah. 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 It's nice that we've got to get all these things cleared up and straightened out, you know, <laughs> otherwise, you know, we know what the new kids' fans are like. You get, what, no. what, how, how do you view yourselves in relation to the kids? Well, I think what Gary's saying is that um, this band, it writes it's all, all its own material. The dance routines, we do all our own choreography, you know, so we, we feel that, you know, we, we, everything comes from within the band, which is a good thing, you know. And of course, in the, 90s. the music scene's big enough for everybody. Hey, Philip, that's, yeah. that's, yeah. <laughs> that's what you said. You said si jumping sideways quickly. You've got a competition for us. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, uh, hey. got some goodies. Look at all, look at all this stuff here. Also You're not giving away my cap, are you? <laughs> oh. That's my favourite cap, know, like to say. And everyone's written in it as well. That's this is massively signed gear. There are singles. There's. Uh, oh, look at this. This is a new one. This is the 12 inch, isn't oh, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. a bit early for an album yet. There we are, and also some uh, some pics as well. And Design goodies. number one and magazine. I just like These to say oh, this wow. fast forward was mine actually, and I'm a bit upset about having to give it away. You <laughs> save them, do you? Yeah, I collect them. <laughs> you <save> the <laughs> You're sick man. <laughs> <laughs> What's the question? The question yeah. is where to take that live. Slight hint, I think, to the answer <laughs> a moment ago. Where to take that live answers on a postcard to us here at Going Live. P.O. Box 8181, oh, London like W127SE. Write that down because there appears to be an also. That's an also. <laughs> also. There's not only the goodie bags, you can also, as well in the prize, is um, 
And all expenses paid uh, for tea with take that in a top London hotel. Journey travel. Which will be fun. Journey and oh, travel paid. Oh. Thrown in there, willy nilly thrown in. But we're, no not, we're not paying. Spared. We're not paying. All expenses paid, trip down to see them and have tea and stuff. So there you go. So if you get that right, uh, then you could not only be winning all these goodies, but you might be meeting them as well. So the best of luck, get your entries in for next week. Can we do some other prize picks now? Who's, uh, well, let's drag these in. You come, chaps. Ship this down here. Just that's it. Have you? Yeah. Okay. Now, you've got uh, a matter of moments to get ready for your next bit, so I think you better oh, run. There we go. Thank come on. you. We go on to prize picks now. These are the, uh, the competitions from last week's Going Live. El Evelyn Glennie, first of all, which is this one. The blue one. There, yeah, the blue one. So you, one of you, you wants to up. dig in there. In, the word xylophone comes from Greek origin. What does the word xylophone mean? The answer was wooden sound. We did accept wooden voice as well. This is the prize. Stunning lineup of stuff. Drumsticks. I'm not sure. I'm not sure xylophone sticks. It's, surely it's got a more glamorous word than sticks. There's an autobiography and three recordings as well. Who's won that? Andrew and Matthew Titley from Luton in Bedfordshire. Con congratulations. Nice and well one, done to you. All the gear is yours to share. Okay. And the uh, rugby shirt competition in one, there. Who so captained the last match? The England rugby team played before Will Carling took over as captain. John Orwin. He was right. John Orwin <laughs> was the answer. And your prize, this, a Greyhound rugby shirt. Uh, and it's from a collection designed by the England player, uh, Rory Underwood. And it's signed by the entire England rugby squad. Will Carling also, of course, is our guest next week on the programme. Who's won that? The winner is Ailish Madrell from Cronk Ailing, Bistard, Port Street, Mary, Isle of Man. Brilliant. Well done. About and don't forget, also, if you're entering, just, just one little postscript, if you're entering the Take That competition, don't forget to put your age on the card as well. Last week, you may remember that uh, Midjua, who comes into the program and constantly gives away my clothes or embarrasses me <laughs> in front of everyone, um, just held up a picture that he managed to get. Um, <laughs> I don't, we still haven't managed to track down where it came from, and it's not my mother, apparently. Um, and he asked the question, why? Why? And you, to win the picture and some other goodies, you had to, uh, to answer why, in no more than 20 words, I was wearing those clothes. I think we've got a brief... Have we got that picture so you can have a look at it, just in case? There it is. There it is. Why was I wearing those clothes? Uh, congratulations to Jenny Waller. I picked this one. I picked you as the winner, Jelly. Jenny, jelly. <laughs> She's jelly. In, in Congleton in Cheshire. I think Philip was wearing those clothes as Midger had given away all his others. So that's on its way to you. You get some bits and pieces and get the picture as well. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, Thank you, Philip. Thanks a lot. All the very best. Thank you. And uh, don't forget to watch next week. You'll find out who you're going to meet. Yeah, that'll yeah. be good. <laughs> Terrific. Now, the, reason, uh, the reason we know all this stuff on Going Live, of course, is that we are just a bunch of know-alls.